promised we are going to record a video and we are going to talk about the uppercut. So this is how an uppercut goes like. I hope, I don't think you can see my legs properly. Uh, but I will explain what's happening. Maybe I'll shoot another video when I've got more space and I can be able to show you everything. So the first thing is that you slightly bend your knees as if you want to do a squat, you just slightly bend your knees. And then you uh, uh, make sure that maybe plus minus your toes must point to the front. Right, yeah. Some will say they must point slightly inwards, that's mainly for, depends what you're doing. The right slurs, I believe they stand differently. But as long as you comfortable knees and toes in line, makes more sense when it comes to science. Right, so slightly bend your knees. Now chest out, keep that back straight, abs in. Right, now me and Dr. Makola, we have a conversation about this. In real fighting, they want you to keep the chin here, tuck the chin in so that you don't get punched up. But it's scientifically correct in terms of your body to keep your neck neutral. So I would say keep your neck neutral most of the time because you are not training to fight. But if you are in a fight, then you want to keep that chin on the chest. Right. So now you have your hands, palms pointing inwards. Right. Palms pointing inwards. Bend your elbow over here, nice 90 degrees. Now fold. Those who've got nails, I don't have a skill for nails, but maybe you can just hold like this. For those of us who don't have long nails, you hold like this. Now the thumb is sticking up, then you press it on the second finger, on the middle finger. Yeah, second here, that is the third. The one in the middle, press your thumb there. Right? Other people will tell you to press the thumb on the side. I'm comfortable with this one. I believe none of them is wrong. This is what most people do, but some people, they do it here, right? Now you take the thumb, this part of the thumb, okay, you place it on your chin here, just above the bone here, right? Others will tell you take it a, a bit higher up, especially in a fight, because you're not only protecting the chin, you are also protecting the temple, okay? So now you have the elbow in. Now this is very important, try not to keep your elbows out wide, because now when you start punching, now this is what you're doing with your shoulder which you are putting your shoulder at risk. So if it's in here, then you get to push, right? And you're keeping things nicely in line. You're not flying. So now we're going for an uppercut. So elbows are in, guards are up, protecting your chin, slightly bent, elbows are touching the ribs, right? Now what you do is when you punch, you rotate. Now when you rotate, you release the heel from the ground, you tip it over and you are on your toes on this foot. Right, and then you rotate the knee. So you release the heel from the ground, rotate the ankle. Heel of the ground, and ankle rotated. You rotate your knee, you rotate your hips, you rotate your torso, as if you are going to point that side. Right, so again, heel of the ground, rotate the ankle, rotate the knee, rotate the waist, rotate the torso. You're still keeping your guard up. So when you punch in a fighting situation, they will tell you that this is a tele telegraph, meaning you, you drop the hand before you punch. When you telegraph, you are letting the other fighter know what you're about to do. So fighters, they try to conceal it by doing different things. But what exactly are you doing? What you're doing is you are rotating and dropping the hand. Drop the hand, it's very important guys, when you drop the hand, you drop that hand with that elbow bent. So you don't drop the hand and go all the way, and then when you punch, you come here. You actually drop the hand with the elbow already bent. Then how do you punch now? When your elbow is already bent, you don't do anything here on the elbow. You use your shoulder. This is how you punch. So that's how you do an uppercut. You don't drop the hand and punch. You actually drop with the elbow already bent and then you now do that rotation I was telling you about. Rotate the heel of the ground, rotate the angle, rotate the knee, rotate the torso and using the shoulder joint, deliver the punch. Whilst you are rotating, now you are using what? The ground, you are using your ankle, you are using your knee, you are using your hips, you are using your abs, using your shoulder to deliver 
a powerful uppercut. So you are there and you go bah, bah. So every time you drop, you drop with the shoulder bend. Another thing that's important, some of the common mistakes are people when they throw an uppercut, after they drop with the hand that is straight, they bring it in and they bring it to their face. So they punch here, right? This is how a lot of people do it. And that is not how. You are here, cut elbows in and rotation and drop that hand with the elbow bend, still keeping that elbow against your ribs as you are punching, meaning how this is how you punch. Instead of this or this, this, it goes straight there. If you were to hit the target, you want to hit it with the two big knuckles. I hope you got that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you practice your uppercut. So just for control, let's do nice. Uh, how many? Just came off. So I just came from a run this morning. Early morning run. So this is where you are. Must not hit the wall. This is where you are. Cut up, elbows in, slightly bend, and then when you punch, hush, 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 hush. Can you see there is power? You're using your whole body to deliver the punch. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you very much.